and welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday, May 24th and it is almost 3 o'clock. I feel like I've already had a full day. It's been super busy. I had both Brooke and Katie here today and we're just finishing up all of the rental prep for this upcoming weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend this weekend and I have four weddings which is I think the most I've done in one weekend they're all full sets of you know all all rentals so it's been a lot of work but all good things so I've been downstairs in the basement all day just finishing prep on the seating charts I'm in the final stretch I'll be done with all of the rentals tomorrow so that will be a really really good taking a little break now I'm actually recording a podcast episode today normally I record on Wednesdays but I actually am interviewing someone today so that is very exciting I have lots of guests lined up for the podcast don't mind the noise in the background our neighbor is doing their grass but I have like five or six guests lined up to come on the podcast in the next couple of months so I'm really excited about that it also helps me on the back end a little bit get some more episodes kind of under my belt so every single week I'm not sitting down and recording for the following week um I've been trying to build up a bank of podcast episodes so so I have them in advance but in any case that is a plan for the podcast and yeah other than that it's been pretty normal crazy day i actually have one of the weddings on thursday this week so i'll definitely take you guys along with me to that it's at castle hill which is where joey and i got married and it's my favorite venue obviously i'm <laughs> biased to that but i haven't vlogged a wedding there so i'm really excited to show you guys around castle hill on thursday i'm going to clean out the breezeway right now i know that i showed you guys last vlog all of the decor that i got for the breezeway so i'm cleaning the breezeway out right now taking down all of the spring decor i'm not putting up the summer decorations yet i don't think and some of the pop-up shop stuff came in so i will take you guys into the breezeway and show you Alrighty, i'm in the process of cleaning up the breezeway and all of the boxes, well not all of the boxes, but the boxes that came in for the pop-up shop are out here. So I'm going to open a couple of them up right now and show you guys what came in. I also got another basket in for the breezeway. If you watched last week, I showed all of the different things that I'm going to be putting in the breezeway. But I think I'm going to decorate this week, so you guys will probably see more to come on that. I don't want to open up the box because they're all nice nice, but I actually had these for last year's pop-up. They're this set of three bases i'll zoom you in so you can see they have this beautiful oh my gosh beautiful beautiful detail on them i've had mine up since last year's summer pop-up shop because they just go with everything they go with every season i put little filler in them just depending on i don't know what i have up in my house and i knew i wanted to bring them back for this summer's pop-up so i think all the boxes are filled with these but I'm gonna go quickly check through and see if there's anything else in there. Okay, just check the boxes that came in and they're all filled with all of those vases. So that's very good. I'm just gonna set them aside. Now, finish cleaning the breezeway, snap a couple photos for Instagram. What time is it? I have a half hour. Snap a couple photos for Instagram and then prepare for my podcast call. Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday morning. I had to think for a second. It's actually around 11. I've been working in the basement trying to get all the rest of the rentals finished and done with. So I have one seating chart done halfway through my second seating chart, and then I need to finish the seating chart boxes. Two or three more just smaller little add-on signs, and then I will be done with all of the rentals for this upcoming weekend tomorrow katie's coming and she's literally just going to be down here all day proofreading every single thing like three times checking everyone's packets making sure that we have not missed a thing i need to add up all of the signs that, that i've done because there are so many i feel like every wedding this weekend not only booked a package but also like added on signs on top of their package which is awesome but it's just crazy how many pieces i have going out so i'm probably going to pop you guys up on time lapse finish up these seating charts and 
I'm gonna feel so happy when these are all done. just finished these two large seating charts the lighting is like god awful in here so <laughs> just ignore the poor lighting and everything but obviously I need to wipe all the grid lines off and I'll show you probably tomorrow or Thursday in better lighting what these guys look like so happy those are done and now I have all of these boxes which you can't even tell what they look like but I have all these boxes that I'll be writing a seating chart on I finished whoops this oh my gosh running into mirrors I finished this huge sign it is a program for the ceremony so you can't really see that well wait for it to zoom Alrighty, there we go now it's zoomed but it just has all of the names of you know everyone who's in the ceremony and all that jazz so this I actually will be delivering this Thursday which I'm going to vlog that wedding so look like a hot <laughs> mess but now I'm going to do those gold seating chart boxes and then the few other signs that I had mentioned earlier and then that will be it for the rentals good morning welcome to my rental <laughs> filled dining room it is now thursday may 27th i didn't end up vlogging yesterday i think i vlogged on tuesday honestly i can't remember i'm also vlogging for something completely different right now which won't be coming out until the middle of july so i've been recording videos you know like every other day and stuff to update you all on that whole whatever project that i'm working on so i forget when i Come on the vlog but basically yesterday was a very busy and productive day I really finished up all of the rentals basically everything was done the day before but went through proofread everything Katie proofread everything I double checked you know like all of the pieces and everything like that so I think in total I have over I think close to 30 pieces going out so last night joey helped me bring all of these pieces upstairs he loaded up the car for me for the wedding that we have today so that is all set and then all of the pieces that i have in my dining room now which i'll show you they're like everywhere basically just all over my dining room are all getting picked up today at 11 so i have two different rental pickups today for two separate weddings. They're both coming at 11 to pick them all up and then I'm heading out around 2-ish down to Castle Hill to deliver with my mom. So busy, busy day today. Pick up and drop off weddings are always so much more stressful than deliveries. Deliveries obviously take much more work and much more time, but I'm in control of everything for delivery weddings. I've changed my rental structure and everything that I'm offering moving forward for 2022. So this will be the last year that I am having pick up weddings, which will feel so nice once I'm done with these. A lot of these weddings actually booked back in 2019. They were actually postponements. So just going through, making sure I have everyone's return list that I give to them to make sure that they know exactly what pieces that they need to bring back, including all the easels and moving blankets and every single thing so that they have a list with them so that next week we make sure that everything gets returned properly. So that is the plan for today. I'm going to bring you guys along with me when I head down to Castle Hill. Probably not going to vlog until we get down there. My mom is definitely not going to want to be on the vlog so I'll probably just get a few clips when we are down setting up. Maybe I'll have her try to record a couple things. So I will chat with you all soon once we are down in Newport.
exhausted. It's 8.30 yesterday. <clears throat> was such a long day with all the wedding pickups in the morning and then the delivery in the afternoon, which went so well. The wedding was beautiful, I'm sure. I tried to take so many videos while I was there, but wearing my detail threads little tea and gonna finish up some work for this morning. I told myself yesterday that I was gonna try to take today off just because we have another wedding tomorrow, but I still have a few things that I wanna get done, but oh my gosh, I just want to sleep all day. We didn't get in until really late last night. Breakdown wasn't until after 11, and the wedding was at Castle Hill, which is like one of the farthest venues in Newport, so it was quite a late night, but Luckily, I don't have too, too many difficult things to work on today. It should be pretty mindless stuff aside from emails and things, which is good. So that is my plan for today, and I will take you guys along with me tomorrow for another wedding at Castle Hill. Hello, happy Saturday. We are headed down to our last wedding of the weekend. It is not a nice day at all. This is typical New England spring weather. So two days ago, we're going to the same venue that we delivered at on Thursday. Two days ago, it was 90 degrees and sunny and humid. And today it is in the 40s and raining. So I'm so sad because obviously the wedding's supposed to be outside and all of that. So I'm not quite sure where we'll be setting up. I think that everything will probably just end up all being under the main tent, unless they have an extra secondary tent, which is possible. So, I'm gonna try to vlog when we're there, but depending on where we're setting up, if we're setting up outside, I don't really wanna get the camera wet, of course, so we will see once we get there, but hopefully I can still get a little bit of footage. I just realized I never recorded my closing to the vlog, <laughs> but we just clearly got back from Target and I don't know, have been running errands and stuff and we're going to Chick-fil-A now. So the wedding was absolutely stunning, even though the weather was atrocious, it was even worse when we got down to Castle Hill. It was so windy, so windy and cold and rainy, but they had the main tent set up and then a secondary tent set up for cocktail hour and all of that. And once you're inside the tent, you literally couldn't even tell that it was cold or windy or raining. It's like a different, a different universe. So it was really, really nice. And we'll be heading down there tonight after 11 to go break down. But this will be the end of this week's vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to subscribe, I would appreciate that and I will see you all next week.